guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting our laser on. And yeah, that's right, a fire in our laser. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, so I am back in the Exoria core because for today's episode, we are going to need to get some Aridite and some Cobalt, mainly Cobalt, but uh, Aridite is definitely down here as well. So with these two materials being down here, yeah, it's kind of dangerous for one thing um, because the magma is literally, literally right outside our window. If I go up the ladder here and hold on, um, yeah, I mean, it is literally right there. All I did was uh, just make this nice little tunnel down so that way uh, we could put a ladder here and I don't have to constantly go the same route that I have been traveling. Now, I can use this to mine this stuff. So that is a plus. This lovely pick allows me to do all of that, which is great. Um, now, the only problem is I don't want to accidentally stumble upon some magma by accident and just straight up lose everything. That would be horrible. Um, so I am kind of taking my time. Um, but as you can see, yeah, this stuff is littered everywhere down here. Once you get, you know, down by the, the level five, I think it's like five to eight. I mean, it's it's a pretty good distance, um, but you should find this stuff, you know, all over the place. Especially, you know, if you do, you know, some huge mines like this, you should definitely end up finding it eventually. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and clear some of this out and uh, hope I find some more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this melted. I went ahead and popped in my induction heater. I have done some power work a little bit off camera um, so I have my battery block. I ended up figuring out I can take the battery block and hook the power up to the LV capacitor and this does convert the power over. Um, it's the only way I was able to figure out how to get it to convert was through the battery box. So uh, yeah, we do have a little bit of a mess going on, but what I did was I made uh, a couple more of the, uh, the windmills. So I have one on each side of the building. Also, you can see I went ahead and completed the wall around the uh, around the structure um, so we do have a little wall around here also I went ahead and made the elevator block and now we have an underground area where we can start working on things so I did expand we have a little bit more area to work now um, as you can see I did kind of work on this side as well this is kind of a construction zone do not uh, pay too much attention to that over there um, I also moved my water setup over here so we have access to water a little bit closer so I have to go outside the uh, the wall, you know, and, uh, you know, go out into the volcano area. Who knows when one might erupt? Um, but yeah, we have tons of stuff from the core. Man, that is a very resource heavy area. Um, so that's why I have this going. I'm hoping this gets hot enough to melt the cobalt ore down. It does require a pretty high temperature. If our power can't get it to that temperature, I'm pretty sure that um, the burner will be able to do it. Um, I, I think it goes up that hot. I'm pretty sure it's the, like the highest it goes, but it should be able to melt it down. I'm just having, I'm just, yeah, I don't think this is going to be hot enough. I don't think we're producing enough power yet for this to, uh, to work still. Even though I do have a little bit more power, we have the same amount down there. But yeah, I'm just, I don't see that this being a thing yet we'll get there we'll get there but man this thing really draws a lot of power that's the only problem um is that going back up yeah this goes up really fast i mean this is a very good burner not gonna lie um this should be just fine now um some people were saying instead of using this put this underneath it like i don't think that i don't think that does anything like, if we were to place this with this, that's going down. Like, that doesn't matter. Like, totally different mechanics. They work differently. They definitely don't work that way. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're working on. Um, I need to get some of the cobalt ore melted down. Like, nine of them? I think nine will be fine. Um, and that will get us a block mold 
is what we need to mold that into. So hopefully this gets hot enough. I'm pretty sure it will. And uh, we'll just have to wait for that. But while we wait, let's go ahead and start working on this. So it says, I discovered even another power source. Uh, it says, I wonder what I can do with it. Unfortunately, it is not compatible with the other power sources. So it's a Sterling generator. Um, and then we need the wooden kinesis pipes and cobblestone kinesis pipes. Okay. So this does four megajoules per tick. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. This is all build craft. And that would be the, not the combustion. The sterling. And uh, okay, so this is pretty cheap. Requires our iron plates just to get our mechanical component. Okay, so, I mean, let's make, like, can we make a few of these? Let's make a few of them. Why not? So let's do some iron. I mean, we can make, like, eight of these, right? I want to make, like, eight of them. Stone gears are super cheap. This whole setup is pretty cheap. This is just cobblestone with cobblestone. Just a whole bunch of cobblestone. Oh, I think I used all my cobblestone. That I did. That's okay. We're going to make some cobblestone real quick. I know I could just farm it, but we're just going to make some real quick. There we go. And let's get some of those gears done. Right, eight of those. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go hit over here. I'm just gonna farm some more cobblestone, as crazy as that sounds. But yeah, I used it all on my building. So yeah, that kind of uh, failed on my part. All right, so we should have enough stuff now to go ahead and get this done. So let's go ahead and take a look here, the build craft. Sterling engine. Okay, so I have enough of these to make eight of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make eight of the Sterling engines. Look at that. Eight of those buttes. And then we need to make these transfer pipes. I'm gonna make eight of those because we have eight Sterling engines. And eight of the cobblestone just for the transferring of the power wherever we need it to go. Okay, so that's complete. That is done. Now that is going to open us up to the laser. And then also getting into the better blast furnace. Okay. Um, also a water pump. I'm pretty sure it is specifically lava or, or specifically water. Um, and the external heater is a part of the blast. And then the charging station for I don't know quite yet. Um, but it says I designed a few useful gadgets that might prove helpful. Well, I'm glad I'm designing them. Um, but yes, here it is. So this is where I needed to get cobblestone or needed to get cobalt in our day. I knew that was coming um, because I knew we were stepping into the build craft lasers and I checked out the recipes. But it says um, this new power source has some interesting capabilities. I found a way to create lasers which allow me to create chips and faster auto crafting. Nice. OK, it says I need some new rare materials from the deepest depths of this planet. I need a proper laser room for this setup as well. Okay. And then we have the lasers, which says it's got a requirement on the lasers, an assembly table, and then possibly a crafting table. Okay. And we need laboratory blocks, 64 of them to be exact. That's why I built that room down underground. That is going to be one of the uh, places that we, we build. So let's get some laboratory blocks made. I'm not sure we're going to need this much quartz, but we are going to need some quartz. Let's grab some stone as well. And laboratory blocks are not the hardest thing in the world to make. If I know how to make them right. So your laboratory blocks, ah, oh, it's completely surrounded, I forgot. So let's get 64 of them. Just like that. How awesome. 
And uh, we're going to go downstairs and we're going to set these up downstairs. Perfect. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to put this on the ceiling. The roof. Now, I'm, sh I'm wondering, can I just, can I chisel them? Or do I have to leave them in this form? For now, I'm going to leave them like this. But, I mean, I'm sure later on they can be chiseled. Right? Almost positive. But, uh, you know, you never know. These guys are almost like, they kind of look like lights, in a way. But yes, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of have these lined up in here. Just to kind of give it some more space. And since it requires this, we got to do it. We kind of have to do it. Okay. I don't know if we're going to have enough to extend it off the sides or what. Looks like we'll have enough to extend it here, here, here. Why do we have one extra block? Oh well. We need 64 of them. Okay. So, let's go back up. By the way, these are super easy to make if I haven't mentioned that. The elevator blocks are really awesome since they don't require ender pearls. They only require pixie dust. So, something to keep in mind. So, I do have tons of levers laying around here somewhere. 32 of them to be exact. All right. And then uh, making the lasers is kind of what it wants us to make, right? Lasers and assembly table. Um, I'm slowly but surely getting this done. Do we have, we have at least two blocks of cobalt. Okay. I'm going to cast the rest of these out as ingots. Because we need to get Aridite in there. Like ASAB. And then we need to cast out, with Aridite, we need to cast out the actual ingots. With Aridite. Because we can't really move anywhere until we have that. But we can go ahead and get our power stuff set up. Um, and I think we can actually make the table, the assembly table, and possibly the other things as well. So both of these require a block of cobalt. The crafting table and the assembly table. The assembly table requires a block of redstone. And it's going to require some obsidian as well. Awesome. So this is not too bad to get. The crafting table is also not going to be that bad either. Wasn't that... Yeah, that was a crafting station, right? So we are going to need... Some sticks and some more wood. There we go. We'll just make this by hand. No big deal. And we can make this one as well. Perfect. And now we have both of those. Now we just need to wait for our Aridite. While we do that, uh, let's go venture downstairs. All right, so what I was thinking was this is going to be the main part of our room right here. And up here is actually going, going to be a wall of some sort. So it's still not finished yet. But we need our wooden kinesis pipes set up sort of in this manner. And then I'll have my engines connected to those. So let's kind of get these spread out. I do want to fit eight of them on there if I can. Because we do have the eight engines. If anything, I'll put two of the engines on each side of one section, right? So right here we have one, two, three, four, five. We do six and seven. We're still missing one. Um, we'll do another set. Just like this. And we'll just have an engine on each one for right now. This is seven. I think we can get another engine in here somewhere. I mean, if we could, we could probably combine these, can't we? Yeah. We can combine them. What am I doing? Let's just put them all together. I mean, this isn't an even room, but... 
We'll have one that's off. This one that's way down here. There we go. Yeah, they'll be off for right now, but oh well. We'll figure it out. And then all of these will connect down here. And this will be where our lasers are connected. And then we'll have a table down here somewhere. Perfect. So let's get our Sterling set up. We'll get some levers on the back of these guys. Get them all flipped on. There is no coal in them yet, but we will get that going here in just a second. I'll grab some coal. This guy's still pumping away. Good, we're getting we got some aridite. We're we're getting somewhere. And getting some fuel in these guys. Right? Are those working? Um, it's producing stuff over here, stored jewels, okay. It is working somewhat. What is that saying? Okay, I'm talking about... Oh, okay, I kind of see what it's saying. I'm just hoping none of these explode. That's gonna be the only other problem. Turn this off for right now until we get our lasers. Once we get our lasers, then we'll get uh, get some good stuff going on. Okay, so we have our assembly table. Now we need to make the main th main attraction, which is these lasers, which requires some more obsidian that I don't actually have. But that's where this beautiful block comes in handy. And uh, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna collect some more obsidian, I'll be back. All right, just in case you guys wanted to see my whacked out obsidian generator, um, here it is. I mean, I literally just have a water source going up here. I have my automatic breaker, I have the pulse, so my obsidian ends up over here. And yeah, it's just as simple as placing that down. It breaks it. I just gather another bucket. And I just keep repeating the whole process. Um, you know, for right now, this is one of the easier ways for me to do it. It's just pretty simple. I mean, really. With this setup, anyways. Um, and then when you're done, you just, you know, come over here and just, uh, collect all your obsidian. And look at that, 11 obsidian. With all these sources of lava. Instead of just, you know, sitting here mining it, which would take a while. I could literally just do it this way. Or, or mess up and, yeah, place it in the wrong spot, but... Yeah, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, uh, but yeah, this actually works out fairly nice. Uh, I recommend it. Recommend it. Definitely. And uh, whenever you mess up like this, literally the best course of action is to, yeah, do that. Just uh, yeah, break all your... Yeah, that actually worked out pretty good. Yeah, just uh, set this up like that, and that's uh, a pretty decent... Um, obsidian generator. No, no joke. This is working out perfect, actually. Alright, so it says we need five of the lasers. So, now we have just enough. Perfect. And there we go. Laser power. I'm a fire in my laser. Wow, such a, uh, such an old meme. <laughs> but, uh, definitely is going to get the job done. So, let's get our table planted down here. That'll work. And then our lasers can actually just go uh, right here. Connected to our pipes. And that should work. And there we go. We can see all of the power is now funneling into the lasers. All right, so now that we have this all set up, um, the, the main thing from what I've seen 
that this is going to be used for is, I guess, when we get into forestry and such as the squeezer, which is like next, we need these circuit boards. And the circuit boards require these redstone chipsets. And those guys are what's made in this table. Um, and so what you do is a redstone chipset is redstone. And you can see right here, there's the redstone chipset. And then you select it. And then you should see like the lasers commit. It says waiting for lasers. I mean, they should should work, I think. I don't know if we have to link them or anything with a a wrench. I don't exactly know how it works. Maybe I need more redstone. That I haven't looked at. None of the help is showing up. Nothing like that. Yeah, it just says waiting from laser. Maybe this needs to be placed down after our lasers are placed down. Then it recognizes that we have the lasers there. Or something like that. Right? Alright, so I had to place this, like, like touching it for some reason. Like, this has to be, like, directly underneath. I remember before, it could be away. Um, but for some reason, this has to be, like, directly touching it. But, uh, so I ended up placing it directly underneath here. And we can kind of see our power a little bit better and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and get two of those in there. And then when we hit that, we can see it going. It does look like it's only coming from one, though. Which has me wondering if that's intended. Because all of these should honestly be going towards this. But they're just not. Hmm. Might be a visual bug or just literally I might have it placed funny. I don't know. Um, can I place this down one? That's what I'm wondering. Can these be placed? Can I place this down one lower? And these guys still reach you. And it actually work. That's the question. Ah, there it goes. So now they're working. Okay, and it's working a little bit faster. Okay. So this is how it's actually intended. Um, so what I could probably do is place these guys back here. I know I'm stopping the process. Oh, well. Um, it's not really wasting that much power. These guys don't burn that much fuel. But what I can do... We can make this look a little bit uglier. But be a little bit more functional. So that way I don't have to have this open on the ground here. I can get these guys be placed right there and directly underneath have this, right? These have to be rotated. Yep, they have to be rotated. How weird is that? That's so weird. Um, but they're working. That's all that matters, right? Is as, as long as they're working. Um, I think these actually can be in a different formation. So like this one right here would probably benefit more if it was back one. I think I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I thought it like a nine by nine. Uh, or a 3x3 three three is how these guys normally function properly, but I could be wrong. But it looks like these guys are doing pretty good. It's not the fastest process in the world, but we are going to need a bunch of these redstone chipsets. And uh, the good part about this is I'm pretty sure it outputs over here. This is your recipe side. It will continue to make them. Uh, it outputs it into the world. Hmm. Can we use hoppers? Will hoppers work? 
I'm going to try it out and find out. Hopefully hoppers don't just pull it straight from the world. We do have other hoppers for that, if that's the case. But you never know until you try. You never know about the automation until you uh, start experimenting. And that automatically pulls out the redstone. Okay. Which is not what I want. So that's definitely a no-go there, but we do have, keep going in the wrong place. We do have filtered hoppers that we do have access to. If I remember correctly. This guy, which I had one, but no telling where that thing went. That thing is probably long gone. Oh, we need iron bars, that's right. And then we use a normal hopper. Which we don't have just laying around, but... We're going to test this out real quick. And we're going to see just how good this actually is. Wow, if I could get my crafting right. And if anything, it doesn't if it doesn't work, we'll just use one of these guys down there to pull the items out. But if I get this to work, And limit it to filter only this. Whitelist it. So when I put that in there, it should only pull out the whitelisted or the whitelisted items. Hopefully, if everything works out. If not, it's just going to pop it back up on the top. And then I'll be like, come on, there's got to be a better way to do this. But yeah, this is, uh, these guys still running the coal. Yeah, they're still doing pretty good. So produce quite a bit of power. Having eight of these guys is pretty nice. Having nine of them, that's when we're, you guys are talking crazy talk. Having nine of them, that's, that's crazy. Did it work? Guys, it straight up worked. So there we go. Automation. So now I can just let that guy simmer over there and while I throw some more redstone in it. And uh, let that do its thing. I don't know how much of this we're actually going to need. I'm going to do a few of them for right now. And then this automated table, that's something else that I don't know too much about, but this is a auto crafting table. No idea how this is supposed to work, but uh, I'm sure we're going to figure, or we might have to use it later on, and it'll help us out with some automation. But yeah, guys, we got some stuff done. Um, we got some lasers. Um, I did do a lot of build stuff outside of today's episode. Um, of course, working on power and stuff like that. So a bit of, a bit of stuff uh, was done off outside, so I did spend a lot of time in this world today. I think I really need to work on getting our farms a little bit better. As you can see, I did expand my hemp farm because I want to get all of those windmills converted. So we have just a bit more power producing. So our windmills aren't just a, a waste here. But um, yeah, we're slowly getting there, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. Um, also, I do have a Discord if you guys want to pop in and check that out. I highly recommend doing so. And uh, you guys know, currently I'm sick, so uh, please forgive the, uh, the the shorter videos. And, of course, the tone of my voice is kind of changed right now. Um, that's just because I'm trying to talk a little bit softer. And mainly, yeah, not blow my voice out because uh, then I won't be able to do a video at all. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, and as always... 
Thanks for watching. Let's go.